Looking for the best graphics card for your Ryzen 3 2200G? Look no further. In this video, I'm going to show you the top 5 graphic cards that will give you the best gaming experience. Whether you're into first-person shooters or strategy games, I've got you covered. So sit back and relax while I take you through the list. I'll also leave the links to discussed GPU in the description, you can check them for more information and the latest prices. Starting our list with Gigabyte Aorus Radeon RX 570. The RX 570 is a solid graphics, from a MD, it has got both looks and performance. It may cause a temperature problem with some particular CPU, but runs absolutely fine with most of the CPU. The combination of RX 570 and Ryzen 3 2200G offers a good output. It does not have bottleneck problems in most games and has less than 8% of the bottleneck in some games with no FPS loss. Eorus RX 570 can provide up to 60 frames per second at 1080p and also 1440p, but with ultra settings. This performance is behind the GTX 1060, which is not mentioned here because of its high budget. This GPU is of low price, and that's why it would be wrong to ask for higher performance than this. It can be a great choice for your first budget PC build. Also, Radeon RX 570 is not powerful enough to catch up with so much VRAM in some games. However, it does not fail to give its utmost performance in need. It is also compatible with Intel while providing almost the performance as with the MD. Moreover, it is an excellent one for up to 60 FPS at 1080p. With 32 compute units, RX 570 is able to do multiple tasks even faster. A MD Radeon RX 570 needs a minimum of 450 watts on your average system. It also supports 4K with 30 FPS, though you will have a lower resolution while at it. There are so many similarities of RX 570 with its predecessors that we can hardly find out the unique ones. Though Gigabyte Aorus Radeon RX 570 is not as good as the high-end ones, it is future-proof and provides a great performance. Your choice of GPU lies beneath your needs and which type of work you're going to do. Radeon RX 570 gives off a better impression when it comes to both gaming and productivity. At number 2 it's MSI GeForce GTX 1050 Ti graphic card. GeForce GTX 1050 Ti is a decent budget 1080p GPU for most mainstream PC games. It works great with almost all types of games with up to 60 FPS in high or medium settings. This one comes with a curved fan blade that effectively enhances the acceleration of airflow. Its zero frother ensures to eliminate the fan noise by stopping the fan during the low load situation. Every intricate heatsink offers a cool and quiet gaming experience. 4 GB of VRAM should be enough for your gaming. If your fans stop, it means it is time you pushed your rig harder. Even for your budget build, you can get a better motherboard with more fans. And this will be an excellent option for your GPU for higher overclocking. It is a future-proof GPU and can be compatible with some of the latest processors in the market. GeForce GTX 1050 Ti comes with one HDMI and one DVI port. You can overclock it to 1500 MHz with 768 core units. The looks it got are cliche, yet you will get worthy of your price. If you overclock it with more fans, it can still stay below 50 degrees Celsius. The maximum memory speed is 7108 MHz, and that is during overclocking. It is a pretty decent graphics card with a somewhat good look and good performance. Absolutely, it is a good choice for budget 1080p and does the job well. The price is reasonable with good performance and outputs. The GeForce GTX 1050 Ti is a low-profile card that comes with low-profile brackets. It can do the job well even with a limited power supply. Since it gets all its power off PCI Express, it does not require extra power connections. This thing is a beast-like and low-profile video card that is easy to install, doesn't consume much power, is cheap, and is highly recommended. Moreover, it handles the games like PUBG, World of Warcraft easily, and can do anything you throw at it. So it is inevitable that the GTX 1050 Ti will be our choice. Even though the MSI GeForce GTX 1050 Ti is not the best in this regard, you can rest assured that it will be a great choice for your budget 1080p. Also, 
you will be satisfied with it as it will provide your performance worthy of the price. At number 3 it's Zodak GeForce GTX 1650 Super. You can hardly find any difference between GTX 1650 and 1650 Super when it comes to performance. Both of them are excellent performers in gaming and other works. But comparing their price makes the calculation easy as we're looking for a budget GPU. GeForce GTX 1650 Super can help you save a few bucks with almost as similar performance as the other one. It will provide you with a better performance, powering most games at 1080p with more than 60 FPS. Also, it has got a small powerhouse design, which is why it will fit with small cases as well as medium ones. The twin fans optimize static pressure for longer circulation and more airflow. Its wide array of aluminum heat sinks offers maximum heat dissipation. Although Zodak claims a better cooling quality, the temperature tends to rise to 8 to 5 degrees Celsius even at a short game session. This graphics card may only have 4 GB of VRAM, but don't just look away because of this. It can handle any game you throw at it with 1080p and 60 plus FPS. Moreover, it has a compact size, and the installation is quite easy. GTX 1650 has got a meager overclocking ability. However, it runs quiet and has better performance in 1080p and 1440p than the non-super GeForce GTX 1650. It has quite a good quality with a small size. This graphics card can deliver intensive triple a gaming and great esports performance. Zodak GeForce GTX 1650 Super has the budget and small case benefits and also provides a good performance, despite its backdowns. At number 4 it's Sapphire Pulse Radeon RX 580. Radeon RX 580 is an impressive and well-performed graphics card with good pricing. For your interest in great value, it is the absolute choice. It is sporting 36 computing units along with 2304 stream processors. With the GDDR5 memory type, it holds 8 GB of maximum memory. The AMD Radeon RX 580 is one of the best GPU for PC gaming. It has been possible for its excellent 1080p gaming performance and low pricing. It is only a little behind the new Radeon RX 590 in terms of gaming performance. Yet, yeah, there is only a little gap between them in overall performance. It can support 4K games, though it is not full HD. Moreover, it is faster than the RX 480. The Sapphire Pulse Radeon RX 580 is pretty to install and cheap as well. It works the best in video editing and film rendering, apart from gaming. Moreover, it runs most of the games easily at the max settings at 1080p. At this price, Radeon RX 580 really offers its best. Ryzen 3 2200G has only 65 watts of TDP, while this one has 1 8 to 5 watts, and it will easily be compatible with the processor. Many professionals also use this and recommended it highly for its awesome power and performance. RX 580 has a total of 1 8 to 5 watts of TDP, which provides better power for better performance. This one is only a little behind GTX 1060 and RX 590 but it is cheaper than them both. It runs the best at 1080p and pretty decently at 1440p or 4K gaming settings. Also, it runs the game smooth like butter. It works flawlessly even after you boot it. But Sapphire Radeon RX 580 can be seen with its utmost potential with the Mac Pro as well. The Sapphire Pulse Radeon RX 580 gives off a good quality of performance and it has a low pricing point. Though it does not have enough features to recommend it highly, you won't be disappointed with its performance. At number 5 it's MSI Gaming Radeon RX 560. Radeon RX 560 is a well-built and well-performed small-factor GPU. It is a decent cool and quiet graphics card that could not go ahead of its predecessors. The power of this graphics card is in this far-fetched small size. It comes in a lighter and smaller size, which can easily be installed in smaller to bigger cases. Also, it provides a decent FPS at 1080p in the latest games. By eliminating screen tearing and display shutter, MSI Gaming Radeon RX 560 ensures a faster and smoother gaming experience. Moreover, it has got a manageable power consumption. 
its reasonable price makes it more appealing to the buyers. This one is durable enough to stay still even in extreme gaming and extended overclocking usage. It is an adequate performer for modern games. Most of the older games also run well with this GPU. Also, it along with the Ryzen 5 3600 offers another cool PC build. It won't need an aftermarket cooler if you make sure enough air flows in the case. Ryzen builds with this video card makes the perfect duo every time. You will be surprised as to how good this graphics card is. It has a fairly cool and quiet cooler that runs at 50-60 degrees Celsius under normal load. Though the look it has is normal, it looks pretty good with its small size. With a fair price, this GPU managed to appeal to the buyers. Moreover, it can provide the best performance of gaming in medium settings. You can see no literally no screen tearing. This small-sized GPU can make its place easily in any case thanks to the form factor. Even the smallest case will have a perfect place for RX 560. Moreover, it is really great at gaming and it runs almost all the modern games at higher max settings. Apart from gaming, it also does a great job at video editing and film rendering. MSI Gaming Radeon RX 560 can be chosen for the best small factor GPU for Ryzen 3 2200G along with a reasonable price. It also provides better performance with low power consumption. And with that, we come to the end of our review. We hope that you have found it helpful. GPU can be a tricky purchase, but with the right research, you should be able to find the perfect one for your needs.